Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 7th episode of this series and we have Hrithik here with us who has been recently placed at Society General as a part of his campus placements at VIT. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company like we always do. So all the students belonging to the computer science and circuit branches also, MCA students were eligible, provided uh, they had a CGPA of 70% or 7 in their 10th, 12th, as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now, let's go ahead and talk to Ritik and understand his experience interviewing for this company. Hi, Ritik. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, uh, hi, just now. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to be on your channel. Yeah, so I'm Ritik. I'm a final year computer science student from VIT Valor. And my CGPA is 9.09 and I recently got placed in Society General. It's an internship plus for full-time offer. Okay. From Society General. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so totally three, three rounds were there. Mm -hmm. uh, excluding the OA. So first uh, it was the online test where like they came for two roles, uh, the software software engineering role and some risk analyst role. Okay. So first uh, for software engineering role, they they took two sets of people for the online test, two separate times. Okay. Uh, so I got selected in the second set of second set and then I wrote the test. So test was quite easy only. They asked from different OS software, software engineering theory concepts and then some SQL concepts and all. And from that aptitude was also there okay and apart from it they asked two two coding, coding questions that were relatively easy easy only okay yeah easy to medium level yeah okay. if you know like basics of vsa you can manage hmm. manage well so then i gave both of them and i got shortlisted hmm. and then next day we had the interviews hmm. so interviews may there are like three rounds uh f first technical round second is techno managerial round and third is hr round okay so, so for me the first the, f the first technical round was taken by two managers so then for me round one and round two were basically the same same thing okay so what did they ask the, the managers were all they were pretty chill like i directed the interview like what i wanted they they mm. were asking about that what i mentioned right. they asked about the projects in my resume right. the internship experience okay. about clubs about about different companies and about the general tech like where i'm learning from about what i'm interested mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. and about the co college it was a just like open-ended discussion for about 45 minutes to uh, one hour like that okay and yeah and then and then i was asked to wait outside for an hour or so and then they directly got me to round, round three okay yeah so round three was a hr round hr round was quite quite simple where they just asked me about the company about myself my preferences where do i where do i want to work to hmm. and what are my expectations and all yeah, so that was pretty chill and the general hr hr question hr questions they asked okay and then that's it and next day like around 10 like that we got the mail for the shortlisted so okay. around 50 people got shortlisted for the interviews and from them 15 of them got the offer okay, okay. final offer okay that's great congratulations again and thank you for sharing your experience so it was like uh, the the middle round that was there the uh, interview so that was like uh, uh, it was not very technical or did they have any technical specific questions like related to anything computer science or anything like that or it was more about the projects no, no, and stuff. Yeah, nothing specific. It was more about the projects and all. It was general open and questions, like based on the, my resume. Okay. But for some other people, they asked like uh, the theory OS concepts or like some DSA question hmm. or something technical. For me, it was just open and they asked me to explain like my resume. Most of them are based on ML ML projects and okay. all. So they asked me to explain the little backend concepts and few uh, like any ML concept which I wanted to. Okay. Just to see my what all I know in it, like. Hmm okay my knowledge of the particular concept okay okay yeah. that's great thank you so much again for sharing your experience uh do you have any suggestions for people who are trying to get placed or anything that you learned from your experience yeah people trying to get placed, just maintain your cgpa it'll help you get shortlisted into many companies hmm. apply for every, every 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 one of the company you know right. so it, it's it's luck based also so you getting shortlisted and all and uh, and have a decent resume. You may have some projects, have some internships. So once you clear the first online assessment round, hmm. that'll be easy, easy for you. The comparatively, the interview rounds are all uh, easier only. Right. Most of the companies. Hmm. So if you have a good resume, you can clear those interview rounds easily. 
Okay. And then just have a good knowledge, uh, practice some aptitude, the theory concepts like OS, DBMS, and all. Mm. Yeah, they are like a must. Yeah, and then uh, DSA, uh, you start like four or five months before, and will will be good enough, well enough for most of the companies. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much, and thanks again for sharing your experience and for your suggestions. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Jashan. Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, if you found this helpful, please do like, share and subscribe and all the best on your placements. Thank you all for watching.